What's up there, YouTube? Uh, this is Luke Latham back here with another video. I haven't been feeling great, but I wanted to make a full re review as soon as I see The Last Jedi again. Um, what I want to address is all the criticism that The Last Jedi is, Jedi is receiving. So, the film critics gave it a 93 on Rotten Tomatoes, which is right up there with, like, the Force Awakens, and I think like the original, and you know it's 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 a really good rating. And then the audience gave it a score of fifty five, which means that the audience is just split in half. I think the reason for that is we were all expecting so much from um, the Last Jedi as a Star Wars movie, but I think if you look at the movie as any other movie. It immediately becomes clear that it's a great movie. But if you look at it as a Star Wars movie, you're not going to like it compared to the originals and the prequels even. It's a completely different kind of movie. I'm glad that they took risks. I'm glad that they changed things up. But it was not anything that we were expecting as an audience. And that's why a lot of people don't like it. But I'm thinking that it's like... <laughs> You had Seven, which was such a, you know, a rip-off of A New Hope, basically, to get, you know, like a soft reboot. And then now you have this that throws the curveball, and then I think Episode Nine is going to bring it all back together, and you're going to realize that all these curveballs were just misdirections. Like, maybe Snoke isn't really dead. Maybe Rey does have parents. Maybe, you know, Kylo was just messing with her. Um, what are other criticisms people had? Luke will show up in ghost form, probably, and still teach Rey, like Obi-Wan did. Uh, like, he's not gone forever. Um, what, how do they handle Princess Leia? Well, General Organa now, you know. Um, there are a lot more questions that we got answers, basically, in this film. And we weren't expecting that. You know, and there were some really cool sequences. There's some really hu great humor that felt out of place compared to what we'd gotten before for comic relief. You know, we never really got that much. Especially like you look at the Force Awakens. Like there were moments where you would like smile, but you like um, one of the standout moments was uh, Han Solo shooting the uh, the. Uh, Chewie's bowcaster, right? And he, he, he's like, I like, why have I never used this before? And like, he's blowing up stormtroopers. Or him and Finn are like, that's not how the force works. Or, um, you know, Rey lets loose, uh, lets loose the Wrath Tars. You know, stuff like that. Um, or BB-8 giving the thumbs up. Like, it's, that's Star Wars humor. You know what I mean? Like, that's good humor. This was like the Thor Ragnarok of Star Wars. This, this, like, the way Thor was presented in Thor 1 and 2, serious guy, really not much humor from him. I mean, there was one-liners and stuff like that, but to the level of Thor Ragnarok's humor, where he just didn't care anymore, that's kind of what we got from Luke Skywalker. They took the Star Wars saga in a different direction here. Uh, that a lot of people are finding confusing, um, out of the ordinary, and they're rejecting it. Uh, but I, I applaud Ryan Johnson. I think that he definitely, uh, like the movie's doing well at the box office, it's doing well with critics, it's doing well. Uh, I don't think it'll reach the same heights as The Force Awakens did just because of all the negative stuff that's coming out. Like, people are saying, um... This is the movie that we're never going to talk about. But but then again, when The Force Awakens came out, a lot, there was also a split. Like, everyone was really happy. But a couple months after it, I remember everyone being like, that was so trash, and raise a Mary Sue, and this is just a rehash of A New Hope, and then they're, like, pointing out all these details. But then, like, six months to a year later, we're getting all these, like, Snoke theories and... You know, what happened to Luke, and where's the Knights of Red, and all this stuff. 
And I will say that watching all these like Star Wars theory videos, um, all these channels popped up over the last like year to two years ago. Um, and uh, what's that guy? He just left. Um, there's a guy that just quit YouTube. Uh, well, he quit making Star Wars videos because of The Last Jedi. Uh, Dash Star. No. Yeah. I think it's Dash Star. No. Is it? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Dash Star. I'll, I'll put the channel in the description once I find the video again, but he was completely destroyed in My Last Jedi. Like, because... Everyone came out with these theories. They thought this is how the movie's gonna go. There were leaks, you know, about like what's gonna be important, and uh, none of what we thought was gonna matter mattered. Basically, you know, that's that's just how it went. So I think, um, I think we're in a really weird place for the next two years. We'll see how the Han Solo movie goes. But, uh, you know, I don't think that Disney is going to try to course correct, really. I think that they they made the movie they wanted to make, and they were all happy with what Ryan Johnson brought to the table. And, uh, you know, the cast was happy, with I think, with the way, they, you know, the story went. Uh, Mark Hamill spoke out that he disagreed with fundamentally everything that was done with his character, but I don't think... Uh, I don't know if he's in that same frame of mind now, like, but, um, I can see why. It's just so unconventional. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna go see the movie again tonight, and I'll be able to maybe give, like, a better review of it. Uh, I'm gonna see if I like it better the second time around. That's what a lot of people are saying. People are saying you go see it the first time and then you're just like immediately turned off because you weren't expecting what you got. But now that you know what to expect, you watch it again just purely out of enjoying the movie, not criticizing it, but just enjoying what you're seeing, then maybe you'll enjoy it more. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And, you know, I'll let you guys know what, what that entails. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Luke Latham. Bye. We'll see you guys later, and hopefully uh, my cold will go away, finally. Alright, I'll see you guys later, bye.